Hey everybody. I wasn't going to record today because I'm sitting out here and hot and sweaty. It's over a hundred and something feels like temperature. So, um, I'm out here trying to photograph all of these salt and pepper shakers. Um, and I'm finding, let me turn this around. I'm finding salt in some of the shakers. I'm having to dig it out with a stick. <laughs> I don't want to put a butter knife in there, but um, so as I'm going through and wiping them down, and this is my back out a little bit for you. This is my box of the shakers that I'm keeping. I think I have one more in the shed. I'm not even gonna go there with the shed. It's a holy mess. All right, so my process out here is just putting a towel down. Usually if I have something light colored, um, that's enough. As long as it's bigger than whatever I'm photographing, I'll find somewhere for the salt to go. Um, so yeah, I just set them up here and then I snap my photos, I get all angles. I do my measurement. Sometimes I do it this way too, not always, but I want to get all the angles. I want to get any tags. Um, and then I put them through photo room and I t it takes the background out and it's all white and it just keeps these guys kind of floating in sub suspension for the. So I've been pulling them out of the box and just lining them up here. Um, I don't know where each match is, so. On my singles, I'm setting off to the side, but everybody else is waiting in line to uh, to get photographed. So these are next, but unfortunately I gotta go charge my phone. So far, I probably have about six or seven in there. Still got these guys waiting, and but I had to charge my phone. So I would show you the process, but I record and do everything on my phone, so. And I gave my mom my other iPhone so that she could have a reliable phone. All right, I'll let you know how full the bag gets. this would be a little tip for you. Also pay attention to the reflections in your items when you're taking the pictures. Because even though you can take the background out, someone's going to see you. Can you see me? Can you see me? In that little one right there? So unless you don't care, pay attention to how the glare is. I'm probably going to hold off on this one and um, these corn ones. Sorry, I'm all zoomed in. Um, just so I can get them cleaned properly. So I am gonna take this bag out to the shed and I'll give you a sneak of that disaster. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time out here explaining what's going on, but holy bajoli, you guys. So luckily I did move things around to oh, I know what is actually listed and what is not. So I haven't had any trouble coming out here pulling orders, but my dilemma is the heat. It is so hot, even with a breeze. So for me to unload all this and be able to sort it, but then the rain shower happens or I've got to go get kids or, so this is on hold for right now. So I can finish what is going on in my house. So just to give you an update there, um, I told you the kids started back to school and I'm almost, I have one more box of my stuff to get out of the living room. Um, but we have a 
a couple visitors gonna come in a couple weeks. So we wanna make sure we have enough space and I'll update you on that as we get closer to that date. But this is just gonna be a continuous work in progress until it's cool enough for me to be able to get out here and back and forth because I am already a redhead. I'm already prone to heat exhaustion, just being heavy. And uh, I don't like that feeling. So I'm not gonna force myself to do it. I can come out and do little bits at a time. Um, but yeah, that was all the salt and pepper shakers. I've got the photos. Um, I'll tell, I've probably told you what the magic number is already. Um, I'm going to see how long this little clip of video was and then I might tag um, some more on there just so you can see what's going on with the living room. But this here, it's definitely a messy blessing. So the update in the living room to show you how it looks now that the island of mom has disappeared. We've reclaimed the rug. Got all the space in front of the entertainment center. And then these two boxes are going out to the shed because they're all done. I just don't want to take them out there yet till we rearrange a couple things. This is our new Roomba. This one we're gonna put on Marketplace and sell for 50 bucks probably. And then this is going in our loft space. Um, this bag in this is mine. But yeah, we need this area for our visitors that are gonna be coming in a few weeks so if you think you know and you don't already know put in the comments but it's gonna be super exciting and i don't want to tell anyone just yet but we are excited to welcome a couple little visitors uh, to our house so um i will get this taken care of and get their area set up, and then I will let you know what the heck is going on. So thanks for uh, sticking around for a few minutes. I know the video was short this time, but um, this is a busy mom. So <laughs> just trying to get everything situated and not bore you with all the, the extras, but um, I will be getting a thrift or a yard sale video up soon. Um, I just need to get a few more things. It's probably, I may have to wait and closer into September after our visitors arrive. Um, but that's going to be exciting because the community yard sale will be then. So thanks for coming along and I will see you next time. Bye.